Hi Genonius here, today I am going to explain a movie called The Graduate, spoilers ahead, watch out. The movie starts with Benjamin Braddock earning his bachelor's degree from an East Coast college, returns to his parents' Pasadena, California home. He is unsure, uncertain about the future. He cringes as his parents deliver accolades during his graduation party and retreats to his bedroom. Then Mrs. Robinson, kinda bossy, the wife of his father's law partner, comes to his room and takes interest in him and insists that he drives her home. He takes her home happily to get out of the graduation party. Once there, she asked him to go inside with her and says to stay until her husband comes house. After some time the conversation gets something strange. Realizing Benjamin confronts her that she is trying to seduce him. But when Ms. Robinson denies such, Benjamin says sorry. But then Ms. Robinson asks Benjamin if he wants to see her daughter, Elaine's portrait. She takes him to Elaine's room. Benjamin praises Elaine's portrait but then Ms. Robinson takes off her dress. She says she is going to bed. Listening to this Benjamin tries to leave but, Ms. Robinson asks him to bring her purse from downstairs. He brings the purse to Elaine's room but right that moment, Ms. Robinson comes out of bathroom naked and locks the door. She tells him that she likes him and if he wants he can have meetings with her anytime. Mr. Robinson comes home, so Benjamin runs downstairs and, says Ms. Robinson asked him to stay until he comes home. Finding Benjamin a little shaken up, Mr. Robinson asked what's wrong. He answered he is disturbed about his future. Mr. Robinson advises him to take things a little easier right now. After he returns home, his parents continue to make him feel isolated and desperate for any kind of connection, so he invites Mrs. Robinson to the Taft Hotel, where he registers under the pseudonym, Mr. Gladstone. Observing Benjamin's behavior, Ms. Robinson finds out he is a virgin. Benjamin denies to commit fornication, but Ms. Robinson says he is a virgin and inadequate. So Benjamin feels the need to show her the man he is. And so he does. Benjamin spends the next few weeks relaxing in his parents' pool by day and meeting Mrs. Robinson at the hotel by night. Things seem to go well for Benjamin. During one of their trysts, Benjamin asks Mrs. Robinson to have conversation, not just sex. So the conversation at on point leads Ms. Robinson to reveal that her loveless marriage resulted when she accidentally became pregnant with her daughter, Elaine. Then Benjamin jokingly suggests that if he dates Elaine, Mrs. Robinson gets very angry and forbids it. And tells him he is not good enough for her daughter. Benjamin gets upset at this and tells her he is also not so proud of what they are doing. But they reconcile and Benjamin promises that he won't take Elaine's out for date. However, Benjamin's parents, unaware of the affair, are eager for their son to date Elaine and relentlessly pester him to ask her out, as does Mr. Robinson. Benjamin gives in and reluctantly takes Elaine on a date. When he sees how upset Mrs. Robinson is, Benjamin attempts to sabotage his date by ignoring Elaine, driving recklessly, and taking her to a strip club. In other words, he is being a douchebag. Beautiful Elaine flees the club in tears, but Benjamin, feeling remorseful, runs out after her, apologizes, and says he is not like this, and asks her to stop crying. Seeing Elaine still crying the douchebag kisses her. Elaine gets at ease. They eat at a drive-in restaurant, where they really seem to jam with each other over their shared uncertainty about their future plans. Benjamin takes her home but asks her to spend more time together. So Elaine suggests, they should visit the Taft Hotel for a late-night drink. But arriving at the hotel, the staff greet Benjamin as Mr. Gladstone, so, Elaine deduces that Benjamin is having an affair with a married woman. Benjamin tells her he was not in control of his actions and swears that the affair is over and makes plans for another date with Elaine for the following day. The next day, Benjamin arrives at Elaine's home to take her out. But Ms. Robinson trying to prevent Benjamin from dating Elaine, threatens to tell Elaine about their affair. To thwart this, Benjamin rushes to Elaine and reveals to her that the married woman is her mother. Elaine is so upset that she refuses to see Benjamin again and returns to school at Berkeley. Benjamin realizing he really likes her, decides to marry her. So he follows her to Berkeley hoping to regain her affections. He literally stalks Elaine everywhere. But Elaine is aghast because her mother told her that Benjamin raped her when she was drunk. After Benjamin explains what really happened and apologizes, Elaine forgives him and they rekindle their relationship. He asks her to marry him, but she is uncertain despite her feelings for him. Later, an angry Mr. Robinson arrives at Berkeley and confronts Benjamin in his boarding room, where he informs him that he and his wife will be divorcing soon, 
and threatens to have Benjamin jailed if he continues to see Elaine. Benjamin rushes to Elaine, only finding a goodbye later in which she tells him that although she loves him, she has decided to marry Carl Smith, a classmate whom she briefly dated. Benjamin drives back to Pasadena and breaks into the Robinson home in search of Elaine. Instead, he finds Mrs. Robinson who calls the police and claims that her house is being burglarized. She then tells Benjamin that he cannot prevent Elaine's marriage to Carl. Before the police can arrest him, Benjamin flees the Robinson home and drives back to Berkeley. There, he visits Carl's fraternity and discovers from one of Carl's fraternity brothers that the wedding will take place in Santa Barbara that day. He rushes towards the area near the church, when his Alfa Romeo, which he received as a graduation present from his parents, runs out of gas, causing him to jog towards the church and arrives just as the ceremony ends. Overlooking the sanctuary, he bangs on the glass separating him from the wedding and shouts Elaine's name. After surveying the angry faces of Carl and her parents, Elaine shouts, Ben. Benjamin fights off Mr. Robinson and repels the wedding guests by swinging a large cross, which he uses to barricade the church doors, trapping them inside. Elaine and Benjamin escape aboard a bus and sit among startled passengers. But they seemed exceptionally happy. As the bus drives on, their ecstatic smiles, however, slowly fade away and they begin to look toward an uncertain future. The graduate please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Like this video, it will help a lot. Thanks for watching. Yours Genonius.